here is another video on factorization we have been asked to factorize 4y squared minus 16 and following what we did in the previous video but in another example so that we have a better understanding of how to factorize simple mathematics expressions okay so we are going to immediately look out for what is common in the two expressions as we can see there's a 4 here which is a factor of 16 and that clearly tells me that if I move 4 outside of the bracket like that there is nothing else I can move here that looks similar to both expressions so only 4 is common and for the left side expression I'm left with y squared while for the right expression I have 4 now in order to confirm that your first step is correct you can quickly do a rough check by simply multiplying this out so if i have 4 into y squared minus 4 opening this bracket will simply give me 4 times y 4y squared then 4 times 4 16. so if you are sure that you are correct with that step you can look closer again to see if there's anything common and as we can see for this example there is nothing common in this next step so we have to proceed without wasting much time now in the previous example we did something like this for this type of expression we said if you have a squared minus b squared what you are expected to do is to simply use the identity a minus b a plus b so this identity does not need you to start showing how it is achieved once you know this you can simply apply it here also if you want to confirm that this is correct you can simply open up the bracket and you see that you simply arrive back at this so this expression is perfectly correct for this this factorization is perfect for this expression now we have 4 here which is not written in this form so we need to express that 4 as 2 raised to the power 2 so that our new expression becomes 4 into y squared minus 2 squared and with that we cannot apply here and that gives us 4 into so we have y minus 2 and then y plus 2 so this is how to factorize this type of expression and you can see how simple it is if you still don't understand what i have done kindly uh, watch the playlist on factorization or simply uh, watch the previous video showing on the right hand corner right now thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to my channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.